I, I want to come back to the values issue. Let, let's look at that, uh, you know, I, I, as we take this discussion forward. Because, uh, you know, Sadhanand Dume, there's a sense that Trump went against certain core American values, the values of inclusion, of building a society that welcomed immigrant communities, for example. Do you see, by, uh, uh, assuming we have a Biden presidency, do you see America restoring that sense of civility, decency of an inclusive society? Will that happen overnight, given that we've had such a polarized election? Yeah, for me, I think for sure. I mean, you're going to see that the rhetoric in terms of immigration will be, quite, will be dramatically different. Uh, it'll be much more inclusive. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I think I'm not sure if we're going to return to a, uh, an entirely pre-2016 uh, view of either trade or immigration. So, for mm -hmm. instance, if you look at uh, Biden's trade plans, uh, they're pretty protectionist. Even, but if you look at his history, uh, he's traditionally been a, a, a moderate Democrat who believed in free trade. On the values question, uh, again, I mean, I think one way to look at this is that Trump was really an aberration. Uh, if you look at the U.S. in general, democracy and human rights has always been part of the mix. You would recall, Rajdeep, when Obama came to India in 2015, uh, he gave this very artfully worded speech at Siri Fort where he essentially encouraged India to live up to its own highest ideals. That's right. He spoke about religious uh, intolerance. In terms of pluralism and diversity and, and, and so on. And what we've seen with the Trump administration is this very dramatic departure from the past. From, from the past. Mm -hmm. You have had administrations in the past that have taken a more realist view and that have placed, for example, the China question or commercial questions uh, more front and center. But you have not seen an administration before Trump mm -hmm. that simply was not interested, that didn't care. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to see a, rest, a, a return to normalcy in that sense. Um, I don't think that the Biden administration will place uh, human rights or democracy at the center of its engagement with India. China remains by far the most important element. Mm -hmm. But I do think that you're going to see more engagement and potentially more friction, particularly with Congress. Let me... uh, uh, on, 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 the, on those sets of issues, you know, things like Kashmir, things like CAA and so on. Uh, let me come back to you, uh, uh, Ms. Bauman. Do you see America therefore restoring, I come back to it, that sense of value systems, you know, which many believe have been lost, uh, uh, the liberals certainly believe, uh, the, have been lost under a Trump administration. Is it going to be that easy to, uh, to heal a fractured country? Well, I think our country is becoming much more diverse demographically. We're seeing enormous changes over time in the younger age groups who are much more tolerant, much more inclusive. And so I expect us going forward to look into a brighter future than what Trump has offered on that score overall. I agree that he was an aberration. Americans, speaking to the point about internationalism, have always been reluctant about international involvement. And I think they recognize that we're a global power, but at one and the same time are a little tired of bearing what they've seen as a lot of burdens alone. Mm -hmm. And they're a little tired of the costs. And we were pulled in that direction during the Trump administration. And now during the Biden campaign, we'll be pulled back more to the center, I think, overall. So I'm still quite positive about the future. And I do believe Biden will reach across the aisle and can be successful because he has so many Republican friends in Congress. It you think it's an aberration, I mean, Professor Matu, that Trump, is assuming, again, we're all assuming that Trump isn't going to make it. I mean, we still don't know, but uh, assuming that Donald Trump doesn't make it and Joe Biden becomes president, will we see the Trump four years as an aberration? Or is this a reflection of an America which is deeply divided and polarized? Uh, two things, Rajdeep. You can't at once say that Trump is an aberration and Trumpism will outlive Trump. There's clearly a large section of public opinion and voters in the United States who believe in what Trump stood for. So you can't just wish that away because President Biden will occupy the White House.